Good morning team, welcome back to the departure brief. Today I'm on Malapasca Island in the Philippines. And that is my resort. $14 a night and look at this, just a few steps away. It's my first morning here and I want to explore the island. So this morning we're going to walk a whole lap of the island. I'm not sure what we'll find but let's go and have a look. It's 6.23 in the morning and I'm about to walk a lap of Malapasha Island in the Philippines. A tiny island known for its beautiful beaches and its epic diving spots. I've asked a few locals and no one's really told me that there's a hike around the island so maybe I'm gonna make one here. I'm just gonna try and stick to the coastline as much as possible. If I have to go inland, so be it, and then back out to the coast. Who knows? Who knows how long it will take? Hopefully about two, two to three hours tops. Let's see what we see. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Matt. The Departure Brief is here to show you how to travel the world and have epic global adventures on a small budget. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you smash that subscribe button and let's go on this journey together. Woo! So I've started from a Villas Horizons dive resort and I've head to the right or towards the east, if you will, because the sun rises in the east and I'm doing it just after sunrise. And I think I've found our first roadblock. Looks to be, the beach runs out and it's just cliffs. No swimming on this walk. <laughs> I ain't swimming around. So you're gonna have to find a way up and around back onto the next beach. So I found these two signs. One says private property, no trespassing. And one says entrance, 10 peso, but there's no one around. I see a footpath here and there's a footpath there. So I think I'm just gonna roll the dice and go through and see what happens. This one's the closest to the shoreline, so let's see where it goes. So the footpath just ends. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm meant to be here. Okay, humbled. I'm not sure what that 10 peso sign was all about because when I went up the other path, there was two more no trespassing signs. So definitely not meant to be there. All right, heading backwards. Hate going backwards, but we gotta head backwards and I'll try and find my way around this cliff here. Found a road, not too far from where we just were. Hopefully this works out better. Left, right. I'm going left. Towards the beach. Let's see where this takes us. What a beautiful morning. At about 5.30 I woke up and it was cloudy as all hell looking out the window. I was gonna postpone this because I wanted a clear day. Give it 45 minutes, look back out the window and not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely stunning. It's like I'm back in Chitwan National Park in Nepal. Hopefully there's no rhinos that'll pop out of these bushes. <laughs> Making my way uphill. Uphill tells me that we're going up and over those cliffs, so that's an exciting thing. Hopefully this isn't a dead end and all for nothing. I found a bit of a construction site. I guess it's roadworks going on behind me. It looks like it keeps going. We're up high. This looks promising, at least for at least just moving the hike along. So I'll head down here, then head towards the water over there. What a sick little basketball court. Okay, when you come down off that mountain, you see the basketball court go through it, and you'll see a gap that looks like this, a small little road. That's the one I'm taking. Awesome. Found the coast again. Let's keep walking along it. We seem to have cut out the northeast corner a bit there, but now we are on the straight going down the east coast of the island. Anywhere along the east coast would be an epic spot to bring in a sunrise. 
Again, facing a cliff closure, um, but on this occasion, the road is just over there and it goes the whole way down the east coast. So this will be easy. I'm gonna hop back up onto the road, go down until the next beach and then make my way back to the water. I think that's the best way. Here's the road here. Morning. Is this the road? Yeah, thank you. Ooh, looks like a steep hill up ahead. So the island itself is really cool. Like you've got your dive resorts, which are so modern and immaculate on absolutely beautiful white sandy beaches. And then a good portion of the locals still live very rurally. I mean, look at this road. It's one of the main roads. When I say rurally, it's like living in big families, living in huts, spending most of the life outside. Chickens. Whew, I'm sweating already. Big guy found the next beach. Not the prettiest of beaches, this one. Or the biggest. Boats, a little bit of a shoreline. Now we've got mangroves to deal with. Look past the mangroves. That's the next beach. And then it looks like more mangroves than the next beach. And then that tip over there, I think is the end of the island. So we are absolutely crushing this today. All right, back out onto the road, around to the left. Let's get past those mangroves. I've found the next beach. Now this beach will take us from about halfway up the east coast all the way south and around the bend, I believe. There might be one section where we have to jump out onto the road right on the corner, I'm not sure. So nice to just be able to walk along the water, check out all these boats and enjoy what's left of the sunrise. All the boats in the Philippines, or most of them, seem to have these sections. Now I assume it's something to either do with diving or helping the boat balance. I'm not sure. If you know, can you please let me know in the comments? I've been racking my brain trying to work it out. Yeah. Small fish. Small fish. Yeah. Alright, we've made it to the southeast corner in just over an hour. The sun is really starting to hit, so I'm glad that I did this hike earlier. Should have went earlier. But yeah, southeast corner. We're gonna come around to Bounty Beach shortly and then we're gonna make our way up into town to have some well-deserved breakfast. And then after breakfast we're gonna go all the way up the west coast to back up to a villas. We're doing a full lap today guys, there's no doubt about it. The further you go around the bend towards the south coast, the nicer the water looks. It's going to be hard not to jump in before breakfast. Okay folks, we've reached the south of the island. This is Bounty Beach. Welcome. This is probably the most popular beach on the island. It's got heaps of bars and resorts and restaurants along the coast. The waters are beautiful. Now I'm gonna go find some breakfast. I've just come off the beach and I'm heading to Bebot's Cafe down this little alleyway. Apparently it's the spot for breakfast on the island. So I've checked, I've made sure it opens at 7 a.m. So we're right on time. Let's go get some bloody delicious banana pancakes, fingers crossed. Okay, so Bebbits, A plus, very nice food, affordable prices, great service. I had banana pancakes and an iced latte for 250 pesos. Cozy, cozy price, not cheap, not expensive. I didn't vlog it in there because it was just too quiet for me to vlog without, I guess, 
impacting on other people's experiences in there. You have to take my word from the outside. Delicious food, good service. Now, heading back to Bounty Beach and we're gonna keep heading around towards the west coast and then we're gonna walk up the west coast all the way back up to a villas. It is just past eight in the morning now and it's already 30 degrees, so it's gonna be a hot one. Found a map of Malapaska. This is great. So, we started here this morning. We walked along this beach to this cliff face here and decided to double back. Then we went across country down into this beach. And then I think we went out onto the road and back into one of these beaches, then back out onto the road, skipped this one, and then we came out here and we've walked all the way around. Breakfast was in here, then we came back down and now we are about here. Ah, you are here, perfect. So now we're gonna walk as far as we can around here and all the way back up. I think from here we have to go inland up to here and then back out and around back to our spot. I'm dripping in sweat, it's 30 degrees, but it's a beautiful place, so I'm looking past that and just pushing on. So I've come off the beach, I've gone inland a bit, and now I'm trying to make my way back to that corner point, going up this alleyway. Hopefully it's not private property at the end. Oh, I think we're okay. It's a graveyard. Let's be quiet and respectful here. graveyard right on the water. Never seen anything like it. Looks like we've got another dead end. I'm gonna head back up past the cemetery and back onto the road. This shade is more than welcome. The walk itself is not hard, but the sun is intense. I'm expecting to watch this arm just go from white to red in the video. <laughs> the further around the island we get. So when you come off the boat from Maya Port, this is the area you get dropped off. Just note, from the moment you get off the boat, everyone's a salesman, everyone's trying to take you on a motorbike to your resort, all by boat, try and sell you a day package. Just be ready for it. Hear them out, and if you're like me, I never want to make a decision when I just get to a place. So I asked for their WhatsApp number, and then I can shoot them a message later in the day and just see what their best offer is and negotiate. Here's the port. You'll come in on one of these things from Maya Port on Cebu Island. It takes about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. And then, yeah. I help Malapaska. Most resorts you can walk to yourself, but if you've got your luggage and you're in a villa, which I was, which is on the complete other side of the island, just get a motorbike that will take you. It'll only cost you a few pesos. Definitely worth rocking up, feeling fresh instead of sweating bullets like I am now. One thing I've noticed is there's so much plastic pollution all around the island, in the water, and just around everywhere. I got no idea how it gets here because there's heaps of like rubbish disposal places. Surely the locals care more about their place to, than to just trash it, and I think most tourists by now have learned to respect and sort of reduce their footprint. So I wonder if it's just washing up on shore or not. If you live on the island, I'm sure you've got a better understanding than I do about the pollution. Please let me know in the comments, does it just wash up? Is there any, is there any cleanup or recovery groups that operate on the island? I'd love to know and maybe get involved or at least help promote. So drop a comment, let me know. So we're on this road for a while now and we're on the west coast heading back up towards the villa. Hi. 
Yeah. I'm back in the long grass, but on a different road. I think being in the long grass signifies you're pretty much in the middle of the island. I'm a traffic signaler. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> this portion of the walk's been a bit of a slog in the heat going up and down hills but I can finally see the water again. So when you're catching a motorbike from the south to the north they come down this path and oh my god at night time if someone's coming the other way one of them switches off their lights and last night I held on for dear life as my guy just let it rip down and around this bend. <laughs> no helmets. No headlights, storm, pitch black, no worries, no, just get it done. <laughs> Not sure if you can see this in the distance, but over there, there is a lighthouse. And that is the, that is the northwest corner. That's where we're heading now. Right up there, that lighthouse. Apart from that one map, here is the only other bit of signage I've found for this walk. North Beach Fire Lighthouse, this way. Hello. Yeah, I've found some water, walking past an elementary school, through a village. Motorbike coming. <laughs> All right, I think I walked past the lighthouse. <laughs> Whoops. There it is. Oh, oh that feels good. I'm going to keep rolling north towards the villas. I need to get in this water ASAP. Hello. Ah, White Sand Beach. <laughs> this one. And that right ahead, folks, is White Sand Beach. The beach we started on today. Oh, hello. Made it, folks. That is one lap of Malapasha Island. A villas is right over there. Let's go get in the water. We've earned it. So, verdict. Walking a lap of the island. I reckon do it, mate. First morning when you get here, if you've got time, obviously if you're diving and you've got a schedule, that's a different thing. But if you've got a bit of time here, do it on your first morning. Get up for sunrise, uh, get it done. Great way to familiarize yourself with the island. Have a few chats with the locals. See which beaches you like and where you want to you frolic in in your time here. And especially if you're staying in the north, it's a great idea to walk all the way down to the south to get a good brekkie in you and then make your way back up as I'm doing now and get in the water. Oh, I can't wait. As far as circumnavigating the island goes, Google Maps only gets you so far. You gotta do some off the grid sort of walking and asking locals. But if you're coming to Malapasca Island and you wanna circumnavigate the island yourself, just like I've done, DM me on my Instagram page at the departure brief and I'll send you a map of how I did it. You don't have to follow it, but it'll be a good reference point for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more epic adventures on a small budget. This walk was absolutely free. Till next time, have a great day.